Okay guys, welcome back to your man Angry Jack. Let's jump in on Mr. Antoine Legrand. Let's see what he has to offer us right now. We got five more tickets. All right, so I'm figuring, like I said, they, they've switched it up from four parts, five races each, to about six, three parts now. And it seems like it's six races each, but I was actually checking and there might be more in the next level. So it's, it's, I see three, like seven. The first one is six and then the other two is seven apiece. Uh, so that's what that works out to. Yeah, that works out to 20 races in the end. 14, 14, 7 and 7, 14, and 6 is 20. Yep. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump in on this one. Very confident about this one. Or feeling very confident and probably a little bit too confident because here we go on that one mile. We have a, we're up against a beast. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to keep up with that guy. Okay, so for the quarter, quarter mile, not worried about him. The worst guy here for us to worry about is this dude here to the 150 test at 5.5 so we're probably gonna go I could go this guy but I don't remember this guy getting to 150 we're gonna use a Corvette against that guy yeah all right so so let's see quarter mile quarter mile you know what I want to put a hurting on these guys for, for messing with us. So quarter mile, quarter mile here. Let's see, what do we have? Quarter mile, one mile, half mile, blah, 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 blah. Who are we going to use on that other one mile? I don't, we're not really worried about him too much. Okay, I'll use that guy here. So, all right, so quarter mile, first one mile. We got, we're, we're putting up a prayer right there. We're hoping that we could stay ahead of him. I think he's going to have better mid-range acceleration than we have. For the half mile, I'm going to put a hurting on that dude there. And we said we wanted to use the Corvette for 0 to 150, right? So we're going to go one mile here. And I think we're going to have to change hands after this round here, if I'm not mistaken. As it stands right now, there's no restrictions. All right, so that was a quarter mile. This is the one mile we're gonna pull out but I'm, I, I'm feeling he has better mid-range here he goes with the mid-range so maybe in the top speed and nope not even he caught us I had a feeling I had a feeling about that so we did our best um, I probably should be recording that time you know to see if this guy here could make that one mile quicker than, than the other dude and I also need to see if he only goes to 154 so I need to see if he can actually hit at 150 top speed. All right, so we're pretty confident about the rest of these. Pretty sure we're gonna pull out with three stars at the end of it. We keep racking up points at the end of it. We are, we're over three stars. We're not gonna lose this next race. Pretty sure of it. This is my beast. Oh, we DNF'd, guys. Oh my gosh. Our top speed is 160, it says, and we DNF. Can we handle 250 points? We could not handle a 250 point loss. Oh my goodness right there. That is a big blow for us right there. All right. Wow. Wow, just wow. I am dumbfounded on that right there. We're going to run it back. I am dumbfounded on that. All right. That has kind of <laughs> got me in a little tizzy, a little tizzy fit. But you know what? We're gonna try. Let's try something else. Give me a reset. I'm gonna go here. I want to try him for the one mile. He is he's beast. Simply beast mode. I'm gonna try him for the one mile. Let's see what happens. I, I can't see how it's going to work out worse than, than it did just now. And 5.5. Um, this would be the better way to go. But you know what, guys? This, this, this is going to be all experiments right now. Is, do, is there anything we want to record? Um, no, we're not set up for it right now. So let's, let's, let's just go. And... Um, it's, it's crazy to 
make the same mistakes over and over and over again, so you probably should be prepared to record some information. Now we're going to see how it goes. One mile. This is my beast. Let's see how he does for the one mile. Let's see if anybody could catch him on that one mile. Nobody could catch my, my beast on the one mile. There we go. All right. That's a good enough experiment for me. Half mile. 133. He topped out at 133, guys, with a 160 top speed rating. That is crazy, right? You, you know what happened? I'm not sure why he has a 160 speed rating, but you know what happened with these old cars? They don't have, some of them only have like three gears. So he probably, that he probably topped out on gears, but that is just very misleading to tell us that, hey, this car can do 160 miles an hour, and then it only pulls up 130. It's, 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 it's bad enough to say, okay, the car could, could hit 150, and then it could only hit 159 because of drag. But then, you know, that's that that was just real bad. Alright. So even if we lose this, which I I I really wanted, you know. My BMWs are beasts. I wanna I wanna see how my BMW does against this guy. He did that. I am and it's not even his fault, it's our fault. It's not the Alfa Romeo G GTV GT5 fault. It's our fault. It's the Camer it's the Corvette's fault for letting us down just now. So, shouldn't be mad at the Alfa Romeo. I think we own one of those cars. All right, so we, we kind of blew a ticket, waste, wasted a ticket here. But uh, it's, it's not going to get us very much further than where it's going to get us. Now, what is that? So, it's 21? What am I miscounting? Okay, so now we still have one more to go for this round. Oh, so, it is seven. Or, it's so, so, it is 21 races, seven rounds apiece. Oh, let's go. Let's just, let's just get at it. Let's get at it. All right, so they're coming. They're coming out stronger again this time. 163. We're gonna run our. We're gonna run our monster one more time against him. Quarter mile. Let's go ahead. Go here for the quarter mile. Get get as many points as possible in on that quarter mile. We're gonna go ahead and test him one more time with the beast. Half mile. Let's just keep it going how we have it going. One mile. We should get lots of points here because this guy here again is going to top out at um, 129 and this guy looks like a DNF. Let's see what happens here. Alright, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and write it down right now. For El Camino, and I guess I could do it, but on do it while, whistle while I work basically. Let's see how quickly he does a one mile stretch. Oh, it looked like that Porsche wanted to keep up, you know. Oh, and here she comes, here she comes. 32, that was 32, it's like 32.8, I think I, I saw. Uh, that, that went by very quickly. I was watching the finish line instead of watching the numbers. All right, but she did us very well. We lost very gracefully, right? Very graceful, that was a graceful loss. I don't think anybody could have done any better than our El Camino did. If the El Camino failed, which was definitely faster than or or Porsche, you know, we 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 had we stood no chance. All right, so on the one mile, the GNX want to keep up with us, but he topped out, and now so we're gonna hopefully get some points in on him, and not that much, you know. Wow, a very good performance from that GNX. And here we go against another Alfa Romeo. Seems like it's easier, it's not over until it's over. But it looks like we're having an easier time with this guy than we had the last one. Let's see if he finishes up. 149, he made it 150. All right, but well, we got our three stars. Hopefully we get our pack opening after we open our three cards here. All right, so just like the last time, five tickets, guys. Here we go, got our aluminum pack. I just got a peek, it said it looks like we have a ceramic pack coming up next. So I'm actually hoping for duplicates right here anyways because there is no space in my garage. I do need to add some of those four-wheel drive and oh, oh. And here's a duplicate that we're gonna have to hold on for, for two, at least two minutes or whatnot. That's a, a C-type duplicate, which we're gonna need to upgrade a B-type car. Ooh, all right, we've got two more tickets. 
no filter less than 90 all right so the only thing we know all right so they jump from 70 rq to 90 rq right now let's be careful that we don't hit the goal because we're not ready to go um who can we keep in here we could keep basically these two cars right here we could take a chance and keep a drag racer but you know we're not going to take that chance right now let's go ahead and throw some big cars in there take a chance throw some big cars in there no nope, that's too too many chances we just took let's throw a handling monster at so no, we only have 10 points left right now so so we're definitely gonna have to reconsider what we're doing all right um i have some cars in mind i might be flipping through too fast but i actually wanted you guys to be here with me while i was doing the selection process to to let me know if you mind if you see any cars that i have in my hand that you would have chosen instead of what i have chosen so i kind of actually wanted you guys to be here with me while i make this selection process you know just to get some feedback from you guys to see what would you have done differently than what i did all right this is coming out to 90 exactly don't need to record anything because <laughs> it is what it is and we're just gonna have to face what we face all right so what we what we're looking at here a screenshot would do me well right here let me go ahead and take a screenshot for myself and what I might do is actually um, not delay the video but do an edit so that if we do lose this which I think we are going to lose it we have a hill climb here and we have the motocross track I believe like every one of my cars so if you guys saw any of my other videos I'm going to show you something right now for example I'm, I'm not going to pick the worst car matter of fact I'm going to pick the, the best car for the situation this car has a medium ride height but a car with a low ride height won't even make it over to the motocross tracks so if you guys are wondering why i was using my best cars in the last um video i just did for the motocross track you're gonna see it right here four-wheel drive performance um it's a slalom test you want to use a light car for that just because g-force test we, we don't stand a chance guys the truth be told we don't stand a chance um at this situation right now and again this is a medium ride height car so we're gonna try to pick him for the hill climb and see how it's done so i already all right so i already took a screenshot we know what's next so i should be able to pull something out of the hat for him next time so all right so we came out the gate but we're not going to be able to make it over these hills and we are making what guys oh he's gone he got away from us he got away from us I just want to see if we're going to get the DNF. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, we can still, we still have a few high mounts to go over. So if, for example, if the, if the ride height was low, he would have never made it over some of these hills. We have one more to try, and that's that big hill coming up. If I touch the screen, it's going to forward it. So right here, we might get a DNF. No, we didn't. All right, so we brought it in, and we brought it in less than 250, less than 250 for the DNF. Nah, and it's gonna be painful guys but i hope you don't mind watching the pain with me so we might get him all the way to the corner but once he gets around this u-turn here that four-wheel driver is gonna pull out on us just like i said yeah all right but we we, we we fought we fought we fought here once we hit the corner that four-wheel driver is gonna pull away from us all right just like it did While this is happening, I have some monsters I'm thinking about right now. I have some monsters in my garage that are just perfect for off-road conditions. Um, and given a free range like this where you can choose any car you want, I'm going to go ahead and try to pick them real quickly. And um, see how we go, see how it goes. Um, and you know what, my better sense is saying, you know what, go ahead and look at your screenshot and make sure you match up and you're able to actually win this last ticket we're about to look at right here all right so we won one uh, let's see how my baby does on the hill climb performance tires low boy uh but you made it you made it you fought fought hard you fought hard all right so we lost that give me a sec let me check out the screenshot let me make a new hand for this next round we have to go all right I'll be right with you
Okay, guys, this is what I have come up with. Uh, we could definitely beat this next hand we're going up against. Pretty sure, pretty confident, hands down. But we could also probably dominate for the rest of the time we have here. All right, this guy is just simply a hill climb monster. Having said that, this guy will probably be a motocross monster. This guy actually edges out this guy, even though this guy has a little, a few more points than um, my other guy there. Is, is he not max upgraded? He should be max upgraded at this point. Yeah, he is max upgraded at this point. But all right, 24, 24 upgrades. No, it's not, it's not saying from this screen here. But yeah, anyways, all right. So the slalom test. We're definitely gonna do it to him there. G forest test. We're gonna do it to him there. Um, he's all surface, we're off surface, lower 0 to 60, better handling, we're gonna do it to him there on the twisty circuit and our hill climb monster. Alright guys, so it's a wrap, we can wrap it up right, right now. I'm pretty sure it's over. He is not gonna catch up with us to run, run over us like he did the last time. We are gone, this is, this guy is just a beast. This is my new beast. I was actually trying to make this car to compete with the black blazer that we have. But that blazer just in 0 to 60, zero to 60 time sheer torque and power off the line is very strong. Very rarely this car is able to um to beat beat my black Chevy Blazer, even though it has more points. Um, in a few occasions it's able to it's able to top him out. And these are the things I need to start recording to find out exactly what occasions those are because you come up against the, the Trailblazer is a car you get from the campaign also a very popular car and you're gonna see it very often a lot of people are gonna be holding that car all right so this is the last ticket here um, you know I was actually I think I made a boo-boo just in that I wanted to bring you guys a bonus clip so I hope the time is late enough already in the day when the day has resetted and there, there are probably some new events popping up so I could just show, bring you guys a bonus clip of some of the other stuff going on as far as the events are concerned alright so um, so we have two more races to go we are simply dominating this one here alright he is not even seeing us anymore he might not even see us on this long straightaway because we are on the straightaway he's still trying to get there how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? We will never know. We always bite. <laughs> Alright, right, so that's that. And one more to go. The hill climb. Watch my monster just dominate this hill climb. Though. Yeah, man. Off-road tires are great, but this is just too much to overcome that 0 to 60 time. And um, also, on, on, on a surface like dirt surface, for some reason, when you when when the when the truck is has a lighter weight also it gives them better performance going up on um, the hill climb so that's that's something you might want to remember also all right so we're getting a few bucks also that we could probably turn around and use in the italia event that you guys see me going on so we, we lost two tickets there but we, we but we did spend our five tickets so as promised there is a special offer going on here for 149 the thing is though it is a blue pack you see it's aluminum actually aluminum and it's blue i don't know i'm not gonna waste my gold i gotta keep my gold for um for you know um for, for, for garage slots so we're in the italia event um we do need to do some upgrades to our uh, italia car we have common cold snap going on here for a day and a half or two days and the, the regular daily event you can see we're in here so apparently we just came in and they're still calculating the prizes so let's check out the common the uncommon cold slap cold snap uncommon performance times five is what we're going to need let me go ahead for the sake of making the video a little bit quicker and um pick a few cars and i think cold snap is just suggesting that we're going to need off-road uh, off-road vehicles so i'll be right back with you guys all right give me a second okay so this is the first hand i came up with and already it's a little bit over as far as the points are concerned i'm actually just one point over you know 
and um, I'm wondering if we should take out the thing is we're going to be facing real competitors this is not a challenge from top drives themselves so boys are not going to go easy on us we only need to lower our point score by one point so this is an option for us to, to get us down to one point or I was thinking of bringing one of these standard tires cars standard tired cars however I'm thinking it's gonna be all ice and stuff like that so you're, you're gonna want the most grip possible I am doubting we're gonna have any regular tracks but we're not gonna know unless we try so let's try all right Let's go for it. Um, should we go here? The 11, because he no, well, he is a front wheel drive, we are rear wheel drive, both all surface. So, all right, so he's not a four wheel drive. I, uh, yeah, one more thing I want to check 17.2. Let's go ahead with this hand. We didn't, we didn't even write it down, we're not even checking. All right, they have a gatekeeper for us, and it is all snow, guys. So this is just gonna be your guys bonus video I'm just gonna do this do it this one time and um, you know maybe it'll show up keep checking the description of the videos I make maybe it'll show up again in another video but I'm not gonna make a series out of this it's only two days and it, the, the upload times it takes for me to for me to edit and render a video for you guys it just takes too long and doesn't make it viable for me to show you every single um, event that we have going on all right so without further ado let's go ahead and pick some cars um, I, I think we could just throw anything at them we have um is there anybody for me to worry about one mile he's going to 101 so we just want to make sure we have somebody with enough power to stay ahead of him on that right there all right apart from that and I think we're gonna go ahead and use our monster for that so let's take advantage of him here on the twisty road with our off-road tires twisty road could get a little bit dangerous gonna have another twisty road coming up we'll use this guy for the twisty road down there also slalom test um, slalom test he's on standard tires let's go ahead and, and use our little man here if you guys saw my last video that was real fun to watch him going around the slalom test on the last video again rear wheel drive standard tires let's go ahead and go here all right for the sake of an offline hand okay for the sake of an offline hand we don't care too much i'm sorry my recorder button is up there so that's why it's a little bit hard for me to touch that snag that um little thing there sometimes to, to snag the little button at the top because my recorder my recorder kind of controls that set although it's invisible which is great it's uh it actually kind of quarantines that little side of the screen most times all right so again we said twisty road we're going to go with the off-road tires because the twisty road they're most likely both of them are going to dnf in the snow snow is powdery a little bit high the car the cars they are driving are low cars all right so we are already leaving them behind with the off-road tires but when they get to this one hill section right here you're going to see where where we struggle yeah you see we're losing some grip he's not going to be able to clear that section with his low porsche I, I have that Porsche in my lineup also. There you go. There goes a DNF. And I am um, have not even done any upgrades also. But it's just so cute. Wanting to keep it around. And uh, like I said, my secret right now, guys, is, you know, I keep these cars in my garage. And then, you know, some every once in a while when you do get cars that, not, that, not cars that you necessarily want to use, but cars that, you know, you could use for fuse material. If I do have du duplicates of cars that I own already, I could uh, actually use them for fuse material and then replace them with the duplicates that I'm holding for that 24 hour period. You know? So it keeps you on top of your toes. And that's part of the reason why I said I'm gonna start bringing you guys a lot more top drive videos because I do spend a lot of time in the game right now, whether I want to or not, just because I have to come in, collect my gold and participate in these little events and um you know it, it's paying off because the longer you're in the game even though you, you you you're not proud of your hands i'm getting close to rq 150 i'm in the rq 120 bracket right now and you know sometimes you feel like you're not you're not you can't compete with everybody but you stick with the game and you're able to compete enough where you know you like you say you know what i'll be all right you know you can keep keep your head up a little bit you're treading water at least you know you're not sinking completely 
all right so this is going to be your bonus video we're doing a lot better here than we were on the ice i think we were on ice the last time on the last video i just made for you guys with the bonus clip and we were watching the fiat panda 4x4 go around the slalom test it was on ice and it was like watching slow motion guys uh, it was crazy so this guy again we doubt he's gonna finish i think he is also a low car so, so on the same section here i wish we were going slow enough ahead of him so you could see exactly where he jammed up but again if you guys watch my last video that happened to another car it was on the dirt track however and he got jammed up on that same section it's going to be that same section all the while that they get jammed up if they don't get jammed there usually they can make it for the rest of the race uh, even though you do have another height another elevated section coming up right up before these twisty turns that we're in right now but um that was that's the highest elevation point pretty much or you know the highest um the steepest the steepest slope back there at the, um around that first or second bend that um that poses a problem most of the time on this track if you could make it past that you usually you'll be able to finish the track all right so again the one mile drag not worried about him because we have the all surface tires and we have a higher top speed going down the one mile track so the chance of him catching up is very unlikely all right so we're just waiting for him to come in there he is that's it that's your bonus clip thank you guys for joining me this is your man let's just take a look around when we get out of here see if there's anything all right number 27 don't i doubt we're gonna keep that position you, ne you never know sometimes we do pretty good in these events you know you know sometimes every once in a while you, you get your surprise so 60 gold all right 60 gold five thousand dollars as we are right now if we could hold on to that i'm gonna leave it right there because i'm not feeling very prepared for that at all let's jump back in and go ahead and you guys just watch me collect this um this this, this the gifts from from the previous events so that was the gauntlet don't remember exactly what that was but here we are we, we finished rank 14 we got plus 10 to our trophy scores 50 gold four thousand dollars we could use that towards upgrading some more of our italian cars italian stallion cars we're getting some stuff we could use for fuse material actually and this is another duplicate so we may be able to upgrade a b-type car today because i think if i'm not mistaken we have three um super rare cars that are duplicates at this point that we could um that we could use daily event is usually what it is around a score zero usually don't get any trophy only 10 gold only 500 but from this from the steel pack we should get common cars which is going to be the f type cars yeah this is it exactly that we could use for our lower end fusing and um i should definitely try to take advantage of that right there so we had at least three that we could use and here are some, some we got some stuff just don't have the cash to go with it to um still kind of low on the cash all right so you guys stick around i am doing um i am featuring the italia tour that would have been the video before this one and i hope i remember remember jack link the video for the italia tour in the description but as always the playlist for top drives will always be linked in all my top drives videos so you guys could just check out all my previous videos. All right, it's your man Angry Jack. I'm out. See ya. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him.